Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really well out there. Massive one today. It's a trip to the thrift. It's Thursday morning, but I am on a mission. I need to go out and find a heap of really good items that I can make a few dollars on on eBay. There's no guarantees when you go out thrifting that you're going to find exactly what you're looking for, but geez, I'm going to give it a red hot go today. If you're here for the first time, I do this for a full-time job. I go and buy stuff out of predominantly thrift stores and sell it on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. It's a great way to make some money and I'm trying to make it a full-time job. If that's something that you're into, if you want to get into it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I also put out three new videos right here on YouTube every single week talking all things online reselling. So it'd be great to have you on board. We're up to about 1,700 odd subscribers now and things are slowly growing, which is awesome. Uh, we are here at the first op shop and I want to get started and hopefully I can bring you some really cool items. So let's dive right into it. Huge thank you to the guys in that op shop. I've been able to spend just $60, if you can see there, and I've bought 16 items out of that op shop. So when you divide it out, we're paying $3.75 per item. It was an unbelievable result. Um, when you have a look here, we've got the Adidas shoes. Now these three stripe Adidas's are in very, very good condition. Plain black will only help me. Uh, these are a size nine, so I think they'll go on to sell pretty well. I'm gonna shoot for the stars and go for 50 bucks on those, but I reckon I'm probably gonna get it. Um, did pretty well on the books as well, guys. This magical balance arena book there were so many comps on ebay for this one now this is just 12 books in this series it is a 22 book series i believe so we've only got half the set here uh, but it is all fully cased up so i'm thinking 35 to 40 because the full sets were going for about 60 or 70 when you're buying books look for the book sets because you're always going to do well there. Um, this was more or less a book set, but it wasn't sort of pre-packaged as one. It was Guild Blyton or Guide Blyton. And I've probably absolutely stuffed up that author's name and I do apologize for anyone that is a fan of that author out there. Uh, but there's a few books here in that series and for $3.75, I was very happy to get my hands on that. Uh, really good author, goes on to comp very well on eBay. So I had to say yes. And then I found this rugby league book as well. There was only a couple of comps for it. Quite a big book, will cost a bit in post stitch um, but a modern history of rugby league so quite a few years there to sit back and have a bit of a flick through really good coffee table book so i do think it'll be good for somebody out there uh, a 70 dollar rrp on it so a couple of comps around the 50 to 60 dollar mark i've only paid three dollars 75 so there's going to be some money made in that one no doubt about it uh, i found some sass and buy jeans well i didn't actually find them she said do you want some sass and buy jeans for five dollars and i wasn't going to say no so even though i don't really buy too much in the way of women's wear i do have a pair of of sass and buy jeans a couple of pairs actually uh, there was this one as well so she's looked after me there and she's given me a couple of really good jeans for a really cheap price so i do thank her very much for that uh, found back into the menswear found a really good brand uh stussy so these stussy cargo shorts are a size 34 waist i do think they'll go on to sell for about 30 bucks so pretty stoked there i bought two t-shirts uh, in the oakley uh, range so a couple of really plain uh, really good condition size large oakley tees uh, I bought this Pink Floyd t-shirt as well, which was the wish you were here. Uh, so I think that's going to go on to sell for a couple of bucks as well. Remember, at a $3 entry cost, I'm really happy to buy those t-shirts because I do think they'll sell for about $15. It's not a massive margin. It's not a massive profit, but I still think at the cost that I bought it at, it was still worth the get. Uh, and I bought three pairs of board shorts as well, guys. So we're looking at a Tommy Hill figure, a uh, pair of boardies here, which I thought was uh, worth grabbing. As you can see there, the little Tommy Hill figure logo down the bottom there. 
Um, I've got a pair of Oakley board shorts. Oakley's a good brand. I bought the tees. I bought the shorts as well. And I found the, uh, the Vistler brand as well. Vistler's a great one. Do get your hands on it if you can find it. I have bought quite a bit of Vistler whenever I do see it. So there it is. I got through it, the 16 items. Oh no, there was one more, a Zelda puzzle. I bought this because it was boxed uh, brand new. So fully sealed up. Um, so I bought that as well, a Zelda puzzle. 16 items, $3.75 each, $60 spent so far today. It's amazing what you can do when you build relationships in your local op shops. We can get the price down and that is what it is all about. So great little come up there in the first op shop. Let's move on. Op shop number two, uh, not sure if I've got a relationship in that one yet, but we can always work on it. So let's keep charging on. We'll see how we go. Guys, that was a really good op shop. Uh, five items in that one. I've spent, uh, what, $30 in total here for that. So basically $6 per item in this one. Um, who remembers the TV show Dinosaurs? Well, I found Baby Sinclair. How cool is this? An old 1991 sitcom on TV. I think there are about four seasons of this show. Uh, talking Baby Sinclair, he's even got the little talking um, string on the back as well. And I believe... Well, he, he kind of talks. Um, this is a ridiculously awesome find. He is a vintage, almost 30-year-old plush toy. And the comps were telling me that if he was boxed, it would be about 450 bucks. But I can generally get around the 100 to $130 with this guy. Uh, I've paid just $3 in this op shop. So talking baby Sinclair plush, uh, the little dinosaur out on the TV show is $130 on resale value. He is in really good condition. There's not too much wrong with him, to be honest. There's no rips or tears. Uh, there are a few little smudge and, and stain marks on him, but that's just the longevity of having him in the house for 30 years. So I'm very, very stoked to uh, pick him up. And um, I, re I reckon I'm going to list him up for about 130 bucks, and we'll see how we go. But a huge get when you're only paying $3 for this guy. Um, found a pair, a couple of uh, pairs of shoes. This one was just an awesome pair of hypervenoms. The color, the colorway on this will go on to sell very well. I think I'm gonna get about 60 bucks for these. More so because we're now at the point of, look at the skull there as well. These are just gonna sell. Um, more so for the point of the year that we're at. We're leading into the start of the football season. So footy boots are gonna to start to get purchased a hell of a lot more than normal. And uh, these are in really great condition. So awesome little find there. I have paid $12 for these, but I'm never concerned paying 12 bucks for the footy boots. When they are like that, um, they will go on to sell for a lot of money. So 60 bucks there, likely return. Uh, I also found the ASICS GT 2000 women's running shoes in a US size seven. I'm not too disappointed with the size there. That was a really good get. Um, so I do think that that one will go on to sell pretty well. Probably a 35 to $40 um, for the GT 2000s. That range of shoe is very, very common. A lot of people know it, really reliable brand. Um, so it should go on to be okay. A uh, couple of button up shirts as well. Now look, when I do buy my button up shirts, a few guys out there, I generally like to buy a long sleeve rather than short sleeve. I tend to find that long sleeve sells better and for a few more dollars on eBay. So in that regard, I have picked up a Nordica long sleeve button up blue shirt, um, double XL in size. This is a tailored fit. Uh, I thought that one was a really nice one for $5. Genuine Nordica long sleeve uh, shirt. So that one was a good one. And then a couple of dollars for this one as well. RM Williams, double XL, regular fit. Uh, this one was a short sleeve, but the RM Williams brand sells very well on eBay. So for this uh, for this checkered shirt, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna pass on it. So I grabbed that one as well. Um, so two pairs of two shoes, two pairs of shirts, and um, 
and obviously a really good get with the uh, with the plush toy there as well. So five items, six dollars average cost per item. Uh, so far, I've spent ninety dollars for the entire day, and I've been able to score twenty one items for ninety dollars so far. So a lot of opportunity out in the thrift, guys. You've really just got to get out and and have a bit of a search around as much as you possibly can, because it certainly is out there. There is money to be made in literally every op shop that you get into. So uh, we've got two more today, and I've already got twenty one items. So things are going really well. Uh, let's push on to the next one. I'll tell you what guys, it was relatively slim picking in that op shop number three, but I've only paid $11 and I've come away with, I believe, eight items. So just a very generous, cheap op shop, which is something you always want to be a part of. Uh, there's the receipt there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but $11 right there. So what we've got, uh, I'll start with the rollerblades. I had to grab those. The rollerblades are a really quick seller for me. I've just done very well with these, both on eBay and on Facebook Marketplace. The brand for this one is LA Sports. And to be honest, I don't think this is a very good brand. I don't think the retail on these would be too high, but I think it's a really good item for Facebook Marketplace. Um, saves you having to worry about trying to ship something like this. And you could probably get about 30 bucks for it, uh, putting it on Marketplace. And I've paid well, a dollar basically for it. So most of it will be the profit. Um, so to make $25, $30 on a pair of rollerblades that sell pretty quick, uh, that was a good get. I went ahead on the cost and, uh, and bought these Nike shoes. Now they aren't in too bad a nick. Um, they're the P-Rod um, Nike skateboarding shoes and the soles were still really good as well. There was hardly any wear on them. Um, I mean, yes, they've been definitely worn, but if I just say they're in worn condition um, with some really good soles, I still think that they can turn into a few dollars. So I picked it up more so obviously for the Nike brand. Uh, I found a couple of pairs of shorts as well. Now, these were the Volcom Solver 33 waist. Um, just a pair of brown shorts, nothing really too fancy about it, but they only cost me a dollar. Uh, so I picked that one up and I picked up a pair of Barney Cools, uh, really good brand Barney Cools. I'll show you the label. Uh, there it is there, Barney Cools. So this one was a size 32, cool little colorway on it as well. So I thought I'd grab that too for a dollar. This book was combing for about 20 bucks. It was David Williams. Um, so that book there, um, the comps here were telling me about $20. So I thought I'd pick that one up as well. Um, there was actually two copies of that book in there. So hopefully what was 50 cents for the books um, can turn into potentially $40, which would be awesome. And I am personally collecting the Guinness World Record books. And I've been able to find a very old 1997 Guinness Book of World Records. So that one won't be sold individually. I always try and find decades worth of uh, years and then I sell them as a big lot of decade series. So when you get the full 10 years, you can generally sell them at about $10 a book. And I've sold them in the past from a, a decade perspective for about $100, $120. So uh, the 1997 version, it's a long way off every other year that I've got so far, but uh, it's well worth grabbing when you can see it for 50 cents. So that was everything. Just a couple of books there. Look, to be honest, it wasn't a, a really flash, um, you know, high profit run there. Um, but I'll tell you what, for, for paying $11 to get all of that, that's still a pretty good run. I was really hoping to find a few more items in there, but they just weren't in there. I was searching forever. I couldn't find too much. So let's hope we can finish on a bang with op shop number four. We've already done really well there with the plush toy. I think that one's so far the pick of the day, $130 off a $3 toy. So let's keep moving on. Uh, op shop number four, fingers crossed we can finish it well.
Guys, so op shop number four, we are done. We have had a big day, a lot of items purchased. Uh, a couple more items here before we finish it up. I did find these ASICS men's uh, gel craze TR running shoes. Now these are a US size 10, and what I have found is the US size 10 is my most common sold shoe size when we're talking men's shoes. So really happy to see this one in a size 10. Yes, there's a little bit of wear there, but I do think I'll be able to sell these for about 40 to $50. So I'm not too concerned. That was a really good pickup. Happy when I found those. Uh, I found these, um, these are a really nice pair of pants. Nothing wrong with them. Um, pair of Ralph Lauren pants. They're a slim stretch fit. Uh, really nice, nothing wrong, $7. So you can't really say no to that. I, I grabbed them. I thought that they would be a few more dollars. I was really shocked when I saw the $7 tag. Uh, I also found these as well, again, $5 for a pair of Nike track pants. I was very surprised to see them at that low of a cost. So I've picked them up. They are a size large. Um, I've even got the, um, the zipper on the uh, ankle there as well, which I thought was a good feature. Look, these dry fits would normally be about 80, 90, maybe $100 when you're out in the shops buying them new. So to find them for $5, in the thrift was a really good get. And uh, I also found these books as well, um, Stacia Kane. There were three books here and I found the exact same three books comped on eBay for 30 bucks. And look, yes, I have lashed out on these. I spent $2 each, so I'm $6 in on these books. But with a sold comp for 30 bucks, I thought, why not? You know, you potentially make a $15 profit, not the end of the world, um, with a pretty good profit margin on that one. So look, that was everything. There were only four items purchased there to wrap up the day. All in all, I think there was about 33 items purchased. What I do want to get um, home, I actually want to get home now and I just want to lay them all out for you to have a bit of a look at. And I want to break down what was the cost per average price. So how much I spent for the entire day and what I believe I can turn this into when I put it onto eBay in a couple of days time. So let's get back home. We'll lay it all out. We'll go through the numbers to wrap up the episode. So here it is here, guys. Not too bad at all. Obviously the best of the day, I would dare say, would be our good mate Sinclair up the back there. Uh, the shoes, I think the shoes were all really good purchases. We've obviously got the two Nikes, we've got the two Asics, the, uh, the Adidas shoes and the rollerblades. Um, a stack of different like sort of t-shirts and long sleeve shirts, they always go well for me. Um, some really nice um, men's shorts of different varieties there. And then we ended up getting some longs as well with the Ralph Lauren, the Nike and the two Sassen Bites. And then we've got a stack of books as well that I think will all go on to sell pretty well. So all in all guys, 31 items. $4 each for everything that you can see here when you do it on averages. Um, that's a really good result. Now look, I'm personally buying clothing, shoes, books, and DVDs. Um, so basically the only thing that I haven't bought today in my wheelhouse is the DVDs. So um, really good get. I'm, I'm sort of enjoying focusing on certain areas of purchase. Um, it's kind of helped streamlining my thrifting. I, I know what I'm in there for and I just look in those areas and then get out of there. Obviously, to the exceptions of things like that, um, when you see them, you've obviously just got to grab them. So, um, great day of thrifting, awesome uh, number of items found. Um, it's been a good one today. So, that'll do me for the day, guys. I am spent. Four hours thrifting, pretty good result. Whole lot of stuff to go and uh, list up, which I'll do tomorrow. I've already done my 15 items for the day, luckily. I'll just edit this video and then we're all done. So appreciate you tuning in. I uh, look forward to catching you in the next episode. It'll be on Sunday. We'll do a what's sold video. Hopefully some of this stuff goes on to sell pretty quick and uh, I'll bring you that information then. Thanks very much for tuning into this one. We'll see you in the next.